We're coming up to the 88th Annual Academy Awards. I'm Stan Edmonds, Department Head of Makeup Design for Film and Television here at Vancouver Film School. When the Academy Awards, nicknamed the Oscars, were first presented in 1929 at the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel, it was a live audience. In fact, they did not broadcast or televise the Oscars until 1953. In 1965, William Tuttle, head of the makeup department at MGM Studios, received a special Academy Award for his work on The Seven Faces of Dr. Lowe. This was 17 years before makeup became an official category. Then, a few years later, John Chambers won an honorary Oscar also at the 41st Academy Awards for his work on the film Planet of the Apes. Through the 1970s, achievements in makeup continued to enthrall audiences worldwide. But finally, with Rick Baker's work on An American Werewolf in London, there was an official category established by the Academy to celebrate achievements in makeup. In fact, Rick Baker holds the Makeup Oscar record with 11 nominations and 7 wins. Each year, usually only 3 films are nominated, rather than 5 as in most categories, and usually only up to 3 artists recognized. To begin with, The Revenant. Makeup by Sean Grigg, Duncan Jarman, and Robert Pandini. Mad Max, Fury Road. Makeup by Damian Martin, Leslie Vanderwalt, and Elka Wardega. And The 100-Year-Old Man Who Climbed Out the Window and Disappeared. Makeup by Love Larson and Eva Von Barr. It's interesting to note that often hairstyling is recognized in this category if there is an exceptional contribution by the design of the hairstyles or wigs. And it's also interesting to note that many of the makeup artists nominated are also hairstylists themselves. The work in The Revenant features a lot of gristled character makeups, complete with prosthetic wounds and beards and wigs and scalping effects, aged, lived-in characters with stained teeth and a lot of scars. Mad Max Fury Road, featuring a post-apocalyptic landscape with neo-pagan tribal characters and a healthy variety of injuries and effects. And finally, the 100-year-old man who climbed out the window and disappeared. This little comedy from Sweden features one of the most difficult types of makeup, which is realistic aging. In fact, there's a progression of age stages from youth to extreme old age, mostly done with very, very good prosthetic work. So with this kind of diversity, how do you compare and rate the makeups in one film over another? This is exactly the kind of thing that keeps the Oscars unpredictable and full of surprises and makes us all want to watch. 